Grade 8 math number 15.2G is possible associations between variables. We've been talking about conditional relative frequency. We did in the last video. We can use conditional relative frequency to see if there's an association between two variables. So if you remember, the way to find the conditional relative frequency is we take one of these orange values and we look down the row or column and we divide that number by the total, or that number by its total for its column or row, okay? The orange one over the green one. And the given will be the total for the column or row as the denominator. The given will be the total, see? And the frequency up here will be the numerator. And the grand total is not involved in the conditional relative frequencies at all. It doesn't have anything to do with the grand total, okay? So Tala wanted to know if gender influenced the purchase of a particular color of t-shirt. And she sold these t-shirts. And we've been using this two-way frequency table for the last few videos. And Tala sold red, blue, and green t-shirts. To females, she sold 30. And to males, she sold 20 total. It was a to grand total of 50. See, this bottom right-hand corner is the grand total. The total of red sold is 15, blue is 25, and green is 10. I'm going to use this two-way frequency table to find out if there's an association between variables. If there's no influence, the distribution of gender in each subgroup, the color, red, blue, or green, should roughly equal the distribution of gender in the entire group. So we would have like 45% to 44% or 45 to 45 or it would be very close or equal. That's no influence when they're really, really close to each other or equal. When there's a difference between them, there is an influence. The distribution of gender in each subgroup, color, red, blue, green, is different or very different to the distribution of gender in the entire group. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to see if females have anything to do with the purchases that, of the t-shirts she sold. So the first thing we're going to do is find the number of females. So the total number of females is 30, okay, out of 50. And 30 out of 50 is 30 divided by 50. That's 60%. So 60% of her sales went to females. Now what we're going to do is figure out the conditional relative frequency of red, blue, and green. So to do the conditional relative frequency, percent female, given the preference for red, so because the given tells us the denominator, remember the given tells us the denominator, we know that the the red is going to, total is going to be the denominator. Red total is 15, so we've got a 15 for our denominator, and the female are 10 red, so we've got 10 over 15. We do our division, 10 out of 15, 10 divided by 15, and it was 0.6666, then it had a 7 at the end, so I just rounded it and put an approximate symbol of 67%, because the 6 told the other six to go up to a seven. See, because I had a bunch of sixes. So it's about 67%. Now, of the blue, 25 sold, 15 are female. So the total given for blue is 25, 15 are female. So we have 15 over 25 for our conditional relative frequency. And 15 divided by 25 is 0.60 or 60%. Now we can do the green. The percent female, given the preference for green, green total is going to be our denominator. And we have five for female, that's five over 10, and that's 50%. So now we've got our percentages for the female, red, blue, and green over the total percentage of females of 60%. Now we can compare these two percentages. We interpret the results by comparing each condi conditional relative frequency to the percent of all t-shirts sold to females. So the percent of females who prefer red is 67%. We found that out here. And that's greater than the total females of 60%. See? We got 67% compared to 60%. So that means gender did influence the shirt color. The percent of females who prefer blue is 60%. And that's about the same. That's 60%. That's what the percentage of females are. So the gender doesn't appear to influence the shirt color for blue. 
And the percent of females who prefer green is 50%, see? And that's less than the percent of females of 60%. 50% compared to 60%. So the gender did appear to influence the shirt color. Now, when the conditional relative frequencies for the rows are the same or similar, the variables are not highly associated with each other. There's no association. So in this one, 60 to 67, because that's getting close to 70%, isn't it? There is an influence. There is an association. This one, it had the same percentages, so there's no association. It didn't influence it. And for this one, there was a difference between the numbers, so there was an association. There were 60% female that only 50% liked green, so they liked another color more, see? So that's the possible associations between variables. And if you're very, very confused, please go back to 15.2a and watch A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I even compare the frequency tables compared to two-way frequency tables compared to two-way relative frequency tables, all side by side. So it makes it easy for you. And I went through each one of these A, B, C, D, E, F, G videos very slowly and methodically so that you would completely understand by the time we got to this one G. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about and you're really confused and having a hard time, go back. It's like you came into the middle of a movie and you're confused about the storyline, okay? Now, this is the last video for 8th grade math. This is it. We're done. That's the end of 8th grade math. I hope you had a great year. I'll see you next time for Algebra 1. That's what we're going to be doing next. After that, we'll do Algebra 2. After that, we'll do trigonometry. So we're going to keep on going. And I hope that I helped. I hope you're doing okay. Let me know in the comments how well you're doing. And if I can add anything to help you out or give you any links to any of the other videos to help you. And I'll see you in Algebra 1. Bye.